forward to the class. All right, now I'm going to start live streaming and I'm going to introduce you. So everyone ready to go live on Facebook? Yes. Yes. Oh, it's live on Facebook. That's what we were wondering. Got it. Know. Got it. See, put that nice bow right behind. Um, hold on. Share to your group. There you go. The group is. It's turned out okay. Except for it is a little blurry. Shh. Should put my dog upstairs. Okay. <laughs> It's not a dog. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Okay, we are now live on Facebook. So thank you so much for being with us today. I'm Linda and I'm co-hosting with my good friend Kim today. And I just want to briefly introduce um, Tamara and Susan. And they are the co-owners of interior and product design company Root Cellar Designs. The design team has extensive experience creating beautiful and quality homes for their clients. They also create and manufacture a line of American-made fabric, wallpaper, and products such as table linens, bedding, pillows, and fashion accessories sold exclusively to 17 different showrooms around the country. Now, uh, Tamara has been a residential interior designer for over two decades and the writer and author of Nest by Tamara Blog. She often speaks at design trade shows and events and writes for a plethora of magazines on the subject of design. Susan has extensive experience as a faux finish and decorative painter and worked as a commissioned artist for several years with fashion designer Joseph Abood, painting the interior of his home and homes of other clients. So welcome and thank you ladies for being our guest today on Hot House. So I want to just ask how you guys just tell us the backstory, how you met, how you decided to both switch from, you know, two sort of complementary but different careers than product design and how it's all been going. So take it over. You can start. Okay. I'll chime in, okay. I'll chime in like when about like how we got together. Because, right, sure. yeah, so we fun. um we went to college together. Oh. I'm actually two years older than Susan. So she was below me in college. We went to a small college in Vermont. At the time it was called Castleton State College. It's now Castleton University. It's a the whole town is literally the college. Mm -hmm. It's about 3,000 students. So everybody knew everybody. And Susan and I met and we fast became friends. We had a small group of friends we hung out with every day. Um, when we graduated from college, I moved to Boston. She moved to Boston. So our lives kind of, we even got closer after college and yeah, spent a lot true. of time together. Yeah. Um, so I've known her since we were 19, 20 years old. And um, we had our babies around the same time. She lives in Connecticut. I live in New York City. Um, and we always said we wanted to work together because we both are creative and artists and we did our own thing. But we kept saying over the years, you know, she, you didn't mention she has a, a, had a dress collection. She, she turned uh -huh. her business into a fashion line and she started um, designing her own textiles. And at the same time, I was doing textiles for things. And we said, let's let's do a cat's hall line for, you know, for the home business because it's well, a natural. Yeah. Well, so that's what I was going to chime in about. So like I had this dress, this um, dress collection is called launch by Susan Young. And I think it was something I always wanted to do, but after working in Joseph Abood's home for like seven years and watching like what he was doing, I'm like, all right, I got to do this. So anyway, so we were doing it. I mean, I was doing it and I kept bugging her. I'm like, come on, just like design clothes with me. It'll be so fun. And she's like, no, <laughs> I'm home, and I'm like, do something with the home, and I'm like, no. But she always, loved, all about she the always loved home. She, yeah, no, totally. But her parents, when like, she was growing up, flipped homes. They, oh, they, they so were like flippers. They had, oh, well, yeah. had homes, and they were fixing them up. Her mother would do all the sewing. Yeah. Her dad did all the construction, and so she loved homes. And her and her husband. Her husband actually worked. At, I don't know if you guys remember the company, The Federalist which was yeah. oh um, sure yeah ran that business yeah. so oh, we okay. both sort of came from the business even yeah. though we had different you know skills yeah. so we started working together i start i went to parsons and after parsons i basically worked for like nine different designers so i would have nine bags run through the dnd building that's kind of how i learned the business wow. so a lot of my le early learning in the 90s was understanding textiles where they all came from and combining them and doing schemes for the design client designers to show their clients 
Some of them were in other states, so I would send them FedEx. Um, so that was before the internet, you know, so it was important to have like a person on the ground in New York who could do all the shopping. So I was basically a glorified shopper when I started. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we both like all, all your experience like set up, help set up root yeah. seller designs because I didn't have that extensive background experience in that in the industry and um like yeah. I just you know it was like like kismet like it was perfect because yeah. I had started designing textiles for my own line as Tamara said earlier um and then we it was just like perfect timing like for us to like yeah start doing that together because you had the ground already laid the groundwork what was for the like year that we started? it was 2015. Oh, 15. oh wow that's when yeah. you started 2015? Yeah. Yeah. So wow. we just, we, our first line that we created was a line we called Fashion Forward. And we took these prints that I found in Paris at the flea market of these um, 18th century women and men dressed up in different garb. And we transposed them over some of her faux finish finishes that she had created. And we, we recreated them in, in uh, Photoshop and we transpose them on them and so they were like really funky and edgy. well and we also used patterns from like we used designs that I had on literally printed right. on clothing right it wasn't even just the full finishing ones it was right like, exactly yeah, we pulled no, some but, of my designs the, from my wheel, collection that's true but that's yeah. what how wheels wound up on yeah them, exactly faux finish. yeah so we um we made a pillow collection out of them and then we did design on the dime in New York and we did a pillow atelier and that's kind of how we launched our line it started out as pillows and then we were like yeah we should do this by the yard we get, and we should work exclusively with designers because that's my industry, which I know so well. And it, and then, you know, the work was really, the, the hard work wasn't that. That was the easy part for us, to be honest with you. Creating oh, is yeah. what we do. It's, it was, you know, sourcing all the different mills and we had a commitment to being made in America. And, um, you know, finding the different mills that could do the different grounds. So for every ground we offer, we almost have a different mill and walking. Wow. Well, so much was, work goes behind yeah. what you yeah. do. You just don't yeah. think about, um, I'm even finding a mill. I'm sure that took months to, yeah. to research and, and find someone that you wanted to work with that could do the job you wanted. Exactly. And do the job really well. And we have like our mills. Yeah. yeah. Consistently. We have really great mills. I'm so happy. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like we went through trial and error where we tried people and then the quality changed and mm -hmm. we had to, you know, in the beginning, that's what happens. You learn on the job really. Cause we, neither one of us had done this. We'd done yeah. so many related things, but this was sure. completely different. But one of the things that was important for me coming from the interior design industry, cause I know how designers think and work and I know that things have to be available. I know that when they ask for something, it can't be like weeks later that you get them the swatches. Mm -hmm. I knew, I know that it had to be timely. So we really tweaked that. And that's been, that's also the hard part of the job. Mm -hmm. I mean, Susan sends out all of our orders. It, her our warehouse of sorts she has a whole room dedicated yes. to it in our her warehouse house. is in connecticut yes. <laughs> so do your all your orders now come through the showrooms to your warehouse is that how that we works come to susan susan you know make sure they're quality control she unrolls yeah. all the wallpaper checks for quality we wrap them in our labeling and sends yeah. them to the showroom or, and, or to client or yeah, to drop right. ships client sure. remind me who what showroom in boston what who has yours um so we Boston's been our like hard Born spot inside. and it's so weird because I lived in Boston for seven years yeah. and it feels like our client we have so many great clients in Boston but we've had some we have some amazing showrooms who are so supportive of us and we've had some starts and stops in Boston and then we kind of just after we were with who was that the last guy we you're were with, with Eric Heidel for a while yeah, but then he did, yeah. closed his show. somebody after that but I think no wasn't what Eric transitioned into somebody absorbed Eric. Yeah, He's what was McGee it? and company? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Great when we were with Eric, and then when we went with McGee, it kind of didn't work. But um, I also think he has his own law. I don't know. Whatever, it didn't work. But we. Well, I just keep coming direct anyway. But I was just I trying to yeah. be supporting somebody here. We have some such loyal yeah. clients in uh, Massachusetts, and we're always joking like it's. It's our thorn in our side. Yeah. We don't know what it is. And you know, actually, <laughs> it benefits you guys for us to not have representation in your area because yeah. you, you, then you can come direct without it. Right, deal. right. <laughs> yeah, and it's good. Yeah. But in any case, we have great showrooms. One of our most, who's our best showroom? Laura, Lee. should we say that out loud? Okay, well, we have some They're great They're all shows. fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> in Dallas. Yeah. Um, yeah. We have a great new showroom in uh, Northern California that has the whole state 
ever okay. showroom and they're lovely and they do a lot of design work in the east coast and we have <clears throat> showroom in minnesota that's wonderful tapas yeah. and we have so many showrooms yeah. that are great and um, oh our denver one shanahan yes they, they're lovely yeah too. do you have a, like an idea each time do you have a when you're doing a new launch do you try to have like five new wallpapers or five you know do you have a number in mind of what you try to produce each and do you do it each season yeah. each a little bit of like a fighting point amongst us because I always try to keep it down like the problem is like, oh they're all so There's, pretty you know, it's, we have too many so we have to edit edit okay. edit and that's yeah. that's a really yeah. hard thing to do yeah. because a lot of designs go off the wayside and yeah. you know they're in the archives and that's great because then sometimes we'll pull them for other things especially like sure. custom jobs um yeah you know we have stuff like yeah. just ready and waiting to go but so we have yeah. like um you know in the beginning we were just creating all these fun designs i you know i'd go to paris deco off come home be inspired she gets inspired by like nature and things and we would come back or organic things and we'd come back and just make tons of designs because everything was new but now we're like a little bit more um, thoughtful about that because we don't want to recreate and have like duplicate kind of designs we want to when we create we want it to be something maybe we don't have like or yeah. we haven't seen in the market or it's just something adding on to our line that you know so we kind of come with more of a a full idea of the collection like this last one is called lodge and we developed it into like a vacation kind of collection mm. go back to travel and staying in you know camps in Maine or staying in a lodge in Europe and just the kind of stuff that people would have in their vacation home maybe mm -hmm. um, and but every collection is different it's like a little retro it is yeah. a little retro yeah, yeah. She did. It's like and old time vacation, like that's the skiers, right? The one with the right. little skiers oh, coming yeah. out. I, I saw love that it. one. I love yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was cool because then the one before that we called Enchanted, and it was very whimsical and fun colors. So yeah. with each collection, we're trying to do something different, but that also works with our existing collection because you know you want to be able to layer. If right. Kim's doing a project, she wants to take the peacock fabric that she used in her kitchen and find something in our new collection that she can add, like a pillow or something that will work. So the colors are the theme that mm. never really changes. We we have right. consistent coloring yeah. throughout yeah. and we create our own colors and they're like a paint color. You know how when you go to buy paint, it's a number. Our colors are a number. So our fern is number blah 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 and every time you want to order it it's that same number and then we weave that through our new collections that's fantastic yeah. now are you just focused on root cellar designs and no longer taking on private clients either of you or are you still taking well, no on? we, we de i definitely take on clients and when it's a big enough project susan joins me mm -hmm. we did a few projects last year we did an apartment in new york city and but you know sometimes they're small little projects and then i'll just take them on i have we have to be a little selective now because mm -hmm. we're busy and it's hard with both of our crazy lives and our, yeah. you know, homes and our families and work. Mm -hmm. We don't want to take on too, too much. So interior design, as you know, is a detail oriented business and our business is very detail oriented. I and mean, we okay. kind of are chained to it all the time, even when we're on vacation, yeah. I just went to Italy and she had to take over my responsibilities for the week. And when she goes away, I have to do that for her. We just, yeah. we can't leave because yeah. there's something every day. There's yeah. emails, right. field and custom orders big part of our business is custom orders. So it's just the two of you. You don't have a staff. No, no, no. We, we, have, have, we have had helpers over the oh, years. Well, like we have, um, a, you know, a, a woman, a workroom woman who mm -hmm. sews our you yes. know, products for us. Yeah. Um, she's amazing. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Us. So we also sell, um, products like tablecloths and like Susan said, and napkins and pillows and Svetlana is our, our, so our work room of sorts. Mm -hmm. So we don't do any actual sewing, but we oversee it. So, but most, our primary business is selling the wallpaper and fabric. And we got into yeah. commercial a couple of years ago. We make a commercial line. All of our fabric and wallpaper can be commercial. We just have grounds that are commercial um, grade, mm -hmm. fire zone coded and stuff. Yeah. So those are bigger jobs and when those come in those are huge and we you know you need yeah, somebody to sure and just it, that stuff out for her takes hours you know is the wallpaper out. oh that's obviously printed somewhere totally different than the fabrics correct all of our wallpaper grounds are printed in different places oh wow, wow. yeah so we have a wallpaper ground that's 54 inches wide that's meant for commercial projects mm -hmm. that's printed somewhere else in our residential line mm -hmm. which is classic yeah. so yeah so we um you know it's a a lot of details to keep You're organized. Yeah. Oh, 
a lot of details to keep organized, but we're both, you know, we both kind of divide and conquer and have our area that we do. Sure. Yeah. What's been some of the, like the most rewarding and then the most challenging when you're starting a product business like you guys did? Um, Well, rewarding, I think, especially in the very beginning, um, just getting the feedback and knowing that you're putting something out there that is making people happy. Mm -hmm. Um, Mm -hmm. It's kind of like cooking. It's the same for me too. And I know for you too. Um, And I think that's like amazingly rewarding. Seeing your stuff like in someone's home, like when Mm -hmm. Kim sent her her kitchen and our designers, I love it when they send us their photos of their our designs in their designs. Yes. You know, yeah. really cool for like, me. Like Kim, when you posted that um, that gardenia swirl, the, the black wallpaper with yes. the yes. white flowers, when you posted, I was like, oh my God. Again, that was like really early, early on. on. Yeah. It and was. That was yeah. Like, that was amazing yeah. to see that. Um, it's kind of like our designs get mixed with somebody else's, you know, and I'm like, oh, wow, we never, like with some of the times I'm looking, I'm like, wow, I wouldn't have thought of it in that yeah. space. And it yeah. looks so cool. Yeah. And that's really rewarding. I think some of the the challenge has been that we live a state away from each other. Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I thought you both lived in New York. <laughs> and I live in East Hampton. So I'm, right. and, um, you know, that's hard. Because if you're sitting at a desk next to somebody every day, you're saying, hey, you know, about that. So we have to like schedule calls and yep. we have this whole system where we communicate through Google Docs. And it would have been easier if we lived nearby, but mm-hmm. I think it's the age to do this. Yes. Well, now, yeah. especially since COVID, like it, yeah. what, how we work together is like the norm now. Yeah. Right. <laughs> the norm we, we started, started. <laughs> we started the COVID norm before yeah. it even yeah. happened. And <laughs> were you nervous when COVID hit that this was going to, you know, really impact your business? Oh, well, that's a good question. I yes. wasn't nervous about no. the business. I was no. nervous about my life and my husband's life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. COVID well, we got really badly. sick. Yeah. Oh, um, you got COVID? Because COVID. you're in Manhattan. Yeah. Well, it was like crazy because it actually, I mean, we were so much busier. We got really busy during COVID. Oh, but that was the mask. Well, it was the mask, but it also like people were was home a, and like, yeah, re- there was some, it, since people yeah. were still home, I feel like they were doing more things in, in well, their, our website, interiors. we sell some things, our products online, our website was hit a good story. and our mask got hit really big, but our car by the sh- yard had a lull there for a while. Maybe yeah. you forget. Okay. It was like, it was a pretty dry few months, like in the midst of, I know, COVID. but we're talking over the course of two course and a half of, years. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, definitely was fine. We did yeah. our best year we ever did in 2021. Yeah. Wow. I think so many designers, businesses did, right? Because exactly what you said, Susan, everybody was home and all of a sudden it was just like, what happened? It was yeah. crazy, yeah. crazy yeah. good, but crazy. Yeah. 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 yeah, but you needed something to do if you were. Yeah. <laughs> like, so you're like looking yeah, around your we house, were, like, what am I going to put in here So now? we did the mask thing. Tell them about that. That was really cool. Yeah, well, I, 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 we all had masks, Linda. You, we no, had some masks. I, no. I, just I, think got of that. I think we sold like a thousand masks or Something. Are you joking? We sold 20,000 masks. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. 20,000. 20, <laughs> oh, wow. I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to argue with you, but I'm <laughs> numbers person. She's a creator, right? Susan. <laughs> a lot. And we it, did. And the I had part a, of that was donating. Website. Yeah. So like, for the, every mask that we sold, so we, we yep. sold 10,000 and we donated 10,000. We, um, we donated to as an essential worker and like, she would bring them to her post all this is way early too in the mm, pandemic yeah. before those masks were available it was literally the end in march and april when it, the world shut down That's right when yeah it shut down. yeah yeah um yes, that so was good for business it was you know i mean after a while it just those other masks were you know deemed way more powerful yeah yeah, mm-hmm. but yeah it was couldn't like before anyone really beginning. knew yeah, yeah. yeah. so yeah, I remember it how hard it was to get the masks the yeah. n90s or whatever they're called n95s yeah. And it yeah. was a fun way and a rewarding way to pass the time too, because I was hand delivering to all of my friends in East mm-hmm. Hampton who were shut in their home and I would drop it at their doorstep and it brought like a little joy to everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. To the grocery store and give them to the grocery store workers. And yeah. I felt like I was still tapped into the community a little. Didn't that yeah. Like- yeah, no, totally. Cause I would, my, I brought it to the post office in my local market and yeah. And I'm sure people were just so unbelievably appreciative because yeah. Not yeah. only are they stylish, but 
they right. couldn't get anything else. Yeah. 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 I still have bags of them in my closet. I'm like, oh, every time I see them, no, I know. Now hope we never of, need those. Now again. they're kind of annoying. <laughs> I know. I just looked at a big box we had that I think we got delivered just before things got better. It was like, you know, a thousand of those, you know, oh, disposable. No. Like, should I just chuck this? But then I thought, if I do, I'll just be jinxing myself and something exactly. will something will happen and I won't be able to get math. So I just hold yeah. on to them. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. So, so what are so plans what I, for going forward for you guys? Going forward. <clears throat> so we um, expanded. We didn't really tell you a little bit about our, our recent expansions in the last couple of years. And this one of them happened during the pandemic, which was why we were so busy. I forgot about oh, that. Yeah. Um, this uh, celebrity chef came to us. Her name oh, is Carla okay. Hall. She's yeah. um, a really cool chef. She, um, She's been on all those TV just, shows and everything. Yeah, America's Worst. No, but before no, that, she no. was known as t America's Top Chef is what she was oh, okay. famous yeah, for. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, <clears throat> she's African-American, and she really wants to create, in addition to Fabric Line, she wants to create a whole business around um, food in the, in the supermarket aisle for, for pe people of her culture. And mm -hmm. it's really not there. I mean, it's strange. You can go down the aisles and you see Italian food and all the different mm -hmm. foods. Mm -hmm. So this was her, her, her dream. And to start, kick that off, she wanted us to design a line of food inspired and um, her cooking inspired um, designs onto fabrics. Oh, and we made wow. her a whole her own private label collection. Yeah. We designed it for her and she didn't, she wasn't very um, developed in what she wanted. So she would say, I just want something with flowers on it or something with okra on it. And we would take that ball and we created yeah. a whole line for her. Of oh. aprons, two different style aprons, the Betty and, and the, head wraps uh, for her, <laughs> yeah. wraps her head and wraps. And what else did we do? We did, all, and we also gave her we a whole line napkins, of yeah, tons of napkins. And she took it, runners, and she took yeah. it on that show that you mentioned. She yeah, went on yeah. the show America's Worst Chefs, and she had everybody wear the aprons on the. On oh, that's, the wow. that's But awesome. it's not our line; it's her line. It's yeah. a private label. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Carla Hall's line. We just were the designers of it. Yeah, and that was like so. three years ago, and I still see her like on Instagram, like wearing an apron, mm -hmm. and you know, and it, it's fun to see that like years yeah. later. And she has a whole line in addition to the product that we created of seven designs. Was it seven designs or six designs? Okay. Well, so she can she can then go and sell her fabric by the yard at some point if she wants to. Mm -hmm. Um. So we've done that now for a couple of people. And this whole private label thing is really cool for designers or artists who want to have their own line and don't know how to make that happen for themselves. Yeah. We can design it for you. You buy it, you own it, and you do whatever you want. We can also then, you can either take it and do whatever you want with it and go get a license collection, or you can have us be your printer and we'll print it for you at, on demand as you need it. So that's kind of like a little side gig that's yeah. been really like that's right. exciting though because i think a lot of designers would like to you know you always toy like oh wish i could find this fabric i want it to be just like this right and it's nice to know that you can do that because it is daunting to think well where are you going to go get that done right i mean you know a lot of that goal for designers is to get licensed but that's always a tough road oh yeah um, but you could do a few collection not even collections cute few designs with us own it and then take that and use that to help you get licensed so right. some designers we know have been doing right. that with us um, and yeah. on that note we can take care of like the whole production of it too like yeah. you, you touched on earlier but i just wanted to put that out there like we can be like the manufacturer yeah. your production yeah. um company to get it out to make sure you have what you need do you so. have a minimum you know sort of yardage that 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 you that they would have to commit to. We haven't really gone that far with it. We thought maybe two yards, right? Yeah, yeah. But you know, the 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 big investment for the designer is in owning, you know, buying the design from us. We create the sure. design. It's an X amount, right. and then after that, we give you a certain amount of yards with that. But then after that, on demand, it's by the yard, and you know, yeah. it's right. usually yards, or somebody can do, you know, forty yards if they want. Yeah. Or they right. can sell it and print it on, like we do, on on demand. Yeah. Would this expand to wallpaper too, or are you just going to stay yeah. with oh, paper? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then we also, in addition to that private label little thing going on, we're doing our own licensing. We're creating tableware and we're creating a tile collection with country tile, mm -hmm. country floors right now. Mm -hmm. um, and that's been fun to take sort of our sensibility on our textiles and put it on other products. Yeah, and, especially tiles. Yeah. 
and they're not they're more of their wall tiles there and their, the collection we did was kind of like it's like you would do like an accent wall with it it was very artsy it was like um you know like i don't want to say mosaic but like if you put it on a little wall, bit mosaic yeah yeah like it almost yeah. tells a story or gives yeah. you a feeling as opposed how to how could just, we find that how could we see the tile not, not in, in production, tile, production yeah, right yeah. now okay but, okay you know, um, country floors. I don't know if you know who they are, but they're like country big, tile floors. Country floor tile, I think. It's I know. I always get it backwards. But country tiles floor. It's country floors tile. Okay, yeah. That's <laughs> okay. <it. Yeah>. And <laughs> um, it's owned by a bigger tile manufacturer, but this is their high end. Um, okay. Not they've done some licensing already. They did a, a collection with Julie Buckingham. They did a collection with um, Sister Parish. Yeah. Okay. And with those guys in, in High Point, the two guys, what's their name? Mad Cat. Cat oh, yeah, the Mad Cat. Yeah. yeah. So we're like their fourth foray. That's fun. That's, That's awesome. very good. Cool. Now, cool. do you guys have to go to, do you go to markets, you know, like Vegas Market or um, yeah. you know, New York? I, mean, I would say before the pandemic, I went to everything. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> everything. And now I haven't. Yeah. It's been a slower immersion into that world. You know, I would go to High Point. She would come sometimes, but I always went. And we did a show house in High Point, actually, in 2019, right before the pandemic, which was a big venture for us to fly there and do it ourselves. And it was fun. Um, so we were really immersed in it. And I think... <clears throat> It's like there's only so many hours in the day now, yeah. so I it is important. And it's we expensive to travel, especially now. But um, so right. you know, yeah. we haven't been going. We have to much. pick and choose, and right. yeah. And but I'm going to go ball. <laughs> don't you um usually too do that Lenox Hill? Um, you do a table for Lenox Hill. Yeah, funny. We were just talking last night about. Are you going to do it for never again? No, it just, it's just it's a lot of so work. much. <laughs> yeah, we do it like I know we were joking, but it's so much work. Like. No, it's the but only, it's, we went from doing two, three show houses and tabletop events a year to doing one or two. Yeah. Um, we did the holiday house tabletop out here last summer and we did the winter, uh, we do the spring one at Lenox Hill. The thing that I personally like about Lenox Hill is it's very fancy because it's in, um, um, it's in yeah, Cipriani. Like it's, a, it's a really pr nice event. But you have to, you know, every designer who does it is exhausted because you it's move in at 10 o'clock in the morning, you do your setup, you go home, you get dressed for a black tie gala, you come back, you, you know, hobnob with everybody, have dinner, dance, drink, and then you take it down at midnight and double park oh the car God. and put everything really? in the car. Really? Oh, oh, wow. Wow. I didn't realize it was that <laughs> quick of a turnaround. <laughs> crazy because everyone's breaking down at the same time oh my gosh. You know, there's nowhere to put your car it's yeah. just it's nuts and then of it's course, exciting but we've done it for eight years yeah. so wow. we were just thinking and saying maybe we take it well, like this year the reason i said that is because <laughs> the last one it was pouring rain at breakdown time and yeah. my car was like three blocks away in a garage and i pulled i'm walking carrying you know bags and and i had this really nice dress on that had sort of a train and my shoe got stuck <laughs> in it and ripped it and yeah so oh. <laughs> That's just the, the glamorous life of the designer, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to say what goes on behind the scenes, you know, it's all smoke and mirrors, beautiful, but behind right? the scenes, it's a hot mess, right? <laughs> we always uh, get really great coverage in all the magazines. Oh yeah. yeah the photos are always beautiful. We meet a lot of people every year. It's a great, yeah. great event. It's a lot of the same people who do it every yeah. year. So, I mean, like I said, I think we've been doing it since 2016. Wow. Yeah. So we've been doing it a really long time and they're so nice there and it's a local neighborhood house for the Upper East Side and it's been around for, you know, a hundred years. years. Yeah. Yeah. So um, it's a great cause too. And if we're going to yeah. do one event, that's usually the event we'll choose. Yeah. You know, a lot of the other events, um, the other thing I really like about Lenox Hill for designers who want to do it, just to toot their horn for a second, they don't charge designers for an entry I was just fee. That, yeah. Which, oh, wow. you know, designers are constantly being tapped out, you know, to mm. do show houses. Not only yeah. do you have to spend your money to do the entire show house, then you have to pay them to do it. Just be right. there. Like, sure. Yeah. And that costs thousands of dollars sometimes. Yeah. So I really like that Lenox Hill doesn't charge you an entry fee and they really appreciate all the efforts. And they so like, much. Yeah. I mean, they come up to you during the entire evening and just thank you and then announce it on the stage. Like they're, yeah. they're really appreciative. And they want and us to come to dinner. Good. They want us to be there and be a part of it. And they give us di you know, dinner tickets because they know that that's what's invaluable to us is to meet the clients and right. to 
right. talk about our table yeah. and the inspiration for our table. And they have a really cool theme every year. What was this year's theme now? I can't even remember because it was such a blur. Um, but every year the theme is really cool. And then we build our collection around around it. it just so happened our collection was lodged so it actually fit. it worked with what really it was. I can't yeah. remember it now. <laughs> yeah so um so yeah and then That's we great. Do, do a lot of little things we used to yeah. do a lot more like we said we used to do yeah. show houses and all kinds of stuff but yeah. we've taken a we've gotten busier you we've know in the busier. beginning when you're building yeah you, you want to get out there as That's much as you can and mm -hmm. um, now it's more of like support and growing you know right. get more so no laying on the beach in the hamptons and whiling the hours away all <laughs> summer long <laughs> my, yeah. my pergola no, she doesn't have a tan my, per <laughs> no, I don't have my pergola have collapsed it's like i have so much wisteria on my pergola oh so yeah we outside last week and we hear like Oh no! Oh, now they're reconstructing my pergola, so we can't oh, even do it in the backyard. Did you? Were you able to save all the wisteria? Yeah, it stayed oh, up there. It's yeah. gotten so heavy because yeah. we put the pergola up ten years ago, and it's it's one of those vines that's literally a really good vine to have because it mm. grows very fast, but it's very heavy and it's on the whole house now. Mm. And over time, we're like, oh no, the pergola is looking a little shaky. Yeah. That's <laughs> funny. Luckily, no. you weren't sitting in it when it no, collapsed. It didn't fully collapse, yeah. but it got crooked. It looked yeah. a little crooked. And we're having a party, and my daughter got engaged, and we're having a party oh. for her. Oh, great. Will she get married there on the property, too? Oh, no. That's yeah. another story. Yeah. She, she wants to get married in Tuscany. So, Oh, of course. Oh, okay. Who doesn't? <laughs> Kim's daughter yeah. got married in France. Yeah. And my daughter got married in France last year. And oh, I have to tell you, I immediately was like, well, I don't know who you think's paying for this. But, you know, like I was like, wait a minute. But I will tell you, when I talked to people that did their weddings in the States, it was so much easier. It was so much less stressful. And actually, the costs ended up far far much better than if we'd have had it here. Yeah, that's it really really I'm happy to talk to you about it offline at some point because it was yeah. it was amazing I I couldn't tell you we all relaxed it was it was fantastic so I think nice. these millennials they're doing remote weddings yeah. because mm. want this shared experience where everybody comes right. and like sort of magical and so she's been to four of those types of weddings yeah. last yeah. year all of her friends are doing so yeah. It's interesting that you're saying that because that's yeah. exactly what she, she said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. really. And, and you spend the whole weekend together, you know. And it's really, it's, it's. I, I'm a fan now. I'm like, okay, I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> Where in France? In um north of Paris at a chateau, Chateau Gillenay's. I'm gonna. I've totally messed up the name. I know, but um, it was about 45 right. minutes, um, south, southeast, southwest of Paris, and it was lovely and. It housed everybody. So 72 people stayed in the chateau when the outbuildings for got arrived on Friday, left on Sunday. So it was God, really to the name of that place. It was really yeah. fantastic. Yeah. 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 Anyway. But that's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Right. I like that shell behind you. Is that your that's so cool that kind of shell? <laughs> oh, hello. I'm gonna get <laughs> These are some of our pillows, by the way. Yeah. So what's that? What's that yeah. little sign right there? This is from the Lodge collection. Um, this is oh uh, yeah. Oh cute. Yeah, zebras and like little strawberries. Yes, and sort of like a country feeling. And then this is from an older collection. This is, oh, this is I like recognize nice. that. Yeah, yeah, love that one. And nice. I did these in my guest room. These yeah, fun. Oh, nice. Um, this is like um, ships. Oh, oh yeah, cute. yeah. And what else we got? We got um, fabric. This is another design from our new collection. It's called um, Date. That's pretty. Damas decoupage. decoupage. Yeah. Nice. And it's little birds. And they're also different. Cute. You know, it's so, that's what I yeah. love about them. They're also unique and different. Yeah. I Thank feel you. like they're modern, but they work with traditional fabrics like mm -hmm. Manuel Canavan yep. and all that yeah. stuff. And so they're a good bridge in a mm -hmm. home for people mm -hmm. who are, don't want it to be too old world. Sure. Right. But also for people who are very contemporary, character. like grab that tortoise shell. That's like a really popular one for people who like contemporary. Sorry to make you get up. <laughs> <laughs> it takes so much longer to get up from the floor now. Yeah. She just went for a run this morning. So she's, oh. she's not 
rusty. Look at that. Oh, oh yeah. that's pretty. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. That's great. And, um, like Still a lot of, of our best sellers. A lot, yeah, a lot of our contemporary clients like that. So this is um one of our wallpapers, and this is it in three grounds. I have. You can't little, see it. Move it just a little more. Yeah, there you go. There um, you go. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. I'm going to show you it in a larger piece or in a different colorway. It's, it's oh, oh, that's nice. really pretty. Yeah, that is pretty. Um, and this is the residential one, but then yeah. this ground, which you can't obviously feel or see the ground, mm -hmm. is our fine. It's called fine and it comes 54 inches wide and it's the commercial one. Great. And then this is the one that's residential. So they look almost the same, yes. slightly textured feeling on the front. And this one is the removable one, which we don't sell very often, but like oh. my daughter used it in her apartment and millennials like it because if they're yeah. renting, they can, it's water activated. When we did the show house, that's what we did because, you know, you have to remove it for show houses. Yeah. So what happens yeah. is you just immerse it in water, bookend it, and you, you know. Yeah, like you can do it yourself even. Um, so, so can you do any of yours then in the, in the removable? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't realize that's that. That's that's we send this to clients sometimes to show them that we can do all, you know, the same pattern yep. in all three. And it okay. doesn't look much different. And honestly, uh -huh. this standard, the one we call standard, it doesn't sell very often, but I will say, um, I just moved into, I just moved downsized and moved into a smaller apartment and I used it because we rent. Yeah. Um, it comes down very easily and it stays up for years and yeah. it doesn't look right. any different than a regular wallpaper. It's not peel and stick, which looks really shiny. Peel and stick. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> A slight sheen to it, but when you wet it, the sheen goes away and it almost feels like a regular, yeah. regular wallpaper, right? It's really right. come so far, the technology on that, because yeah. like yeah. you said, the peel and stick, I had done that maybe eight years ago and mm -hmm. oh my God, it just looked so horrible. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. I think it's better now. Um, yes, yeah. it is. Definitely. But, um, so any of our designs, so I think we have over or around a hundred different designs yeah. and any design can be printed on fabric or wallpaper. Okay. Um, doesn't matter where it originated from. It just, so. if it isn't printed on, if we don't have it in our collections in wallpaper, for instance, we only have it in fabric, it's just a $30 up charge to mm -hmm. resize it. To rescale it. Yeah, yeah because yeah. You know, it's always got to be a little different on the walls because it's a sure. vertical application. Yeah. Like this, I don't know if you can see this, but this is a table runner this is like a typical table runner that we make for people and oh, yeah. put trim yep. on it yep. um, i think that's our fabric it is, is that that's our, our skirt fabric. Fabric. Yes, that's our heading home it fabric Your skirt. i yep. want to wear that outfit again and i, I have know. nowhere to wear it i'm like please i just need to wear this outfit <laughs> i just so actually cool. saw it in my closet it's in the back and i thought oh my god i love this skirt i need to <laughs> I know. that's what you said i need to find yeah. a place to wear it you guys look so cute wearing those that, that was, was so fun. fun. I wish we were there at that event. That would have been. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. I was in a tabletop event in Boston, right? At the design center. Yeah. Heading they, home for dinner. Yeah. Oh, Ever yeah. Since it, it stopped after the pandemic came. They haven't done it. I don't think they've oh, done no. it since. Have they, Kim? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, so. And the design center here is changing. Like there's oh, yeah, no. It's, it's really kind of sad. There's no events anymore. Yeah. You know, a, you might have a book signing or two, but it's really kind of sad what's happening yeah. all are the people... showrooms are leaving because oh, yeah. the building was sold to a pharmaceutical company and oh, everybody okay. has to be out in the next um four oh. years so as yeah. leases expire they have yeah. to leave yeah. um so yeah. all the showrooms i don't know if you went there recently are all compressed yeah. onto just two floors and oh, even wow. on those two floors i'd say it's what kim 60 percent or maybe 30 percent empty yeah yeah it's just, it's, where, are uh, go? where are they going i mean they're, they're all going places. different places a lot yeah. of them are going down to the south end but there's yeah. just a hassle there's no parking down there for designers to go yeah. i mean it was just such a wonderful resource yeah. for designers really back awesome. in the day yeah. now yeah. it's just not even enjoyable really to go in there unless i feel you know, like the design world needs to do something in boston because there's so many designers so many talents yes like yes vineyard you have nantucket you have the right, right. Yeah. All those places and i i don't understand why i don't know if it's the boston like old-fashioned thing but they don't they're not like celebrating it or, no they're not no. they're not and it's really you sad celebrate it. all yeah. the designers yes. yeah we need yeah. to yes we do but it's not there i don't understand it's alive because of you guys like yeah, yeah. right yeah well yeah. not for much longer it's going to be a pharmaceutical labs um in five years which is crazy and that whole area yeah. down there was so great they had a restaurant we oh yeah oh yeah. oh yeah oh yeah 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 there was lots going on that 
Well, ladies, this was so nice of yes. you to come on today and Thank share with us. Um, and I hope the viewers got inspired by, uh, so maybe I'll leave it with just one final question. If you could give advice to somebody that's thinking they might want to do a product line or what would be the one piece of advice that you might share that you wish you knew when you were starting? It would have been nice. <laughs> I hate to talk money, but we didn't start with an investment of any kind. We just kind of wung it. Um, it. Yeah. We had like a few thousand dollars, but we didn't yeah. have, like, I think when you start a new business, it would be helpful to have, you know, a hundred thousand dollars or something, mm -hmm. a big chunk of money so that yeah. you can invest in doing all of your promotions and doing your show houses and doing your events. I think it's, tougher we did it and we mm -hmm. survived we actually and it takes longer i think too. yeah it took yeah. us a little longer yeah. we're yeah. doing great but we would have had a lot more um you know probably we would have grown quicker if quicker. we had yeah. uh, and it was okay for us because we didn't need it to grow quicker it was yeah. okay for us to do it organically but i think yeah. a lot of people don't have 10 years sure. to put in something so right. i think if you and i don't know how you get that i don't know if that's a loan or if you get somebody to invest in you or because it's expensive it's yeah. you know all the swatching is what is our yeah. biggest expense yeah. we have to send out hundreds sure. and hundreds of swatches every week yeah. so wow. we cut them ourselves and we swatch them and we label them and that so i think that would be helpful advice because then you could get some people to help you with that and do mm -hmm. some marketing and go to all the you know, all of the events, mm -hmm. what was yeah, for us is that there. I knew every, I yeah. knew a lot of people in the industry. Well, I was, that's what I was talking about in the yeah, beginning. Like right. we are, you had already set the groundwork. Like we, right. if, 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 if you didn't have all the experience in the industry that you had, it would have been yeah harder. So that's true. Use your, use your connections, use your you know, people, you know, and yeah. anything you've ever you know done with anybody and hit them up. And, and, go to, know and go to market. Like I went to yeah. market, every, both markets for sure. 10 years. Yeah. I went to every market. You talk if, to people and yeah. you tell them, yeah. You don't, if they don't know you, they're not going to probably buy yeah. necessarily from yeah. you. It's kind of like, oh, I saw Susan and Tamara, you know, at High Point yeah. in that showroom we had a cocktail. We connected. I love their line. Yeah. Let me find, and they'll remember you. And yeah. I think we Sorry. have to remember this industry is really about connections. It right? is so much so. Yeah. That's really important. The old no like and trust. And that, you know, right. it's, oh, that's the always the key. Well, that was great. So thank you so thank much you. again. And we yes. really appreciate it. And uh, enjoy the summer. rest of the rest of your, your summer. Thank you. You we too. You guys. Great to see you both. Bye. 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 Okay.